Earth's crust is being warped by melting ice. Here's what you need to know. The melting of Earth's polar ice is incrementally warping the planet's crust both vertically and horizontally, according to a new study in the Geophysical Research Letters Journal. Scientists already knew about a process called isostatic rebound, whereby when a glacier melts, the crust below it is released from the weight previously on top of it and so very gradually rises up, in some cases over thousands of years. However, the new study, cited by SciTech Daily, adds to this concept, noting that the deformation of the crust is actually three-dimensional and thus includes horizontal movements as well as vertical ones. The study adds that rather than simply affecting the areas directly below the ice loss, deformation was also found to have global impacts, with Greenland ice sheet and Arctic glacier melting, causing deformation that extends over much of the northern hemisphere, for instance. Case studies showing the incremental scale of the deformation include London, which the study says moved, roughly, between 0.04 and almost 0.2 millimeters vertically every year from 2006 to 2010, plus similar distances to the north and east. The study's lead author, Sophie Colson, explained that we should think of a wooden board floating on top of a tub of water. When you push the board down, you would have the water beneath moving down. If you pick it up, you'll see the water moving vertically to fill that space. Colson added that the implications of this kind of movement are far-reaching. In some parts of Antarctica, for example, the rebounding of the crust is changing the slope of the bedrock under the ice sheet, and that can affect the ice dynamics, she said, before suggesting that this science could also aid our ability to accurately observe tectonic motions and earthquake activity, where we need to be able to separate out the motion generated by modern-day ice mass loss. Elsewhere, the deformation also provides a window into the past where we can still see a rebounding effect from the end of the last ice age, roughly 11,000 years ago, according to SciTech Daily. The surface layers of Earth are not the only slightly warped aspect of our planet right now. However, as separate new research has just established that far below the crust, the core is growing lopsided for completely different reasons. Earth's inner core grows 1 mm in radius per year, but its east side, beneath Indonesia, is growing faster than its west, beneath Brazil, because it is cooling at a faster rate, causing more iron crystals to form, according to a study in Nature Geoscience. The conversation explains that when Earth was formed, a lot of heat was captured within the planet, and as this has slowly escaped, the inner core's temperature has dropped below the melting point of iron, causing the formation of the crystals. Because of lower temperatures around the east side, iron crystals form more quickly. However, Earth's spherical shape is maintained by constant spinning and the force of gravity, which redistribute the extra mass evenly according to popular mechanics. To establish the disparity, scientists combined the fact that seismic waves travel much faster from north to south through the core than from side to side, with estimates of how iron alloys behave at high pressure, according to the conversation. Popular mechanics attributes the disparity to Indonesia being covered by a mix of islands and expansive sea floor, which is a key place for heat to be shed. The study's lead author said cold tectonic plates diving below Earth's surface may be a cause. Heat loss in Earth's inner core is important because it drives the flow of liquid iron in the outer core, which in turn creates Earth's magnetic field and, according to the conversation, in billions of years, cooling will lead to the whole core to become solid, which will leave Earth without its protective magnetic field and leave us exposed to solar and cosmic radiation. However, if that horrifying future vision is a little too horrifying for you, then you might prefer to know that scientists are also currently in the process of rewriting Earth's past, a long-held theory about a collision with a planet called Thea, which may explain the presence of alien blobs in Earth's mantle and the existence of the moon, has just received an update from scientists writing in the Planetary Science Journal. The problem with the previous theory of how the moon was formed via a single slow collision between Earth and Mars-sized planet Thea, with broken off parts of Thea forming the moon, was that the moon shares much of its chemistry with Earth, not Thea, and that it requires improbably low initial velocity. To explain both phenomena, the new theory suggests an alternative version of events. Rather than hitting the Earth once at low speed, merging then and there and forming the Moon, Thea initially hit Earth at higher speeds in a hit-and-run collision, and then, between 100,000 and 1 million years later, the two struck each other again, resulting in a collision that more fully merged the two. Using computer simulations of the massive impacts, scientists concluded that this version of the Moon's history is a better fit than what is known as the giant impact hypothesis. Earth's magnetic field protects our blue planet from radiation and solar wind. However, roughly every 10 years, a phenomenon dubbed geomagnetic jerks cause Earth's magnetic field to change. 
The origins of the jerks are unknown, but new research on the topic offers a possible explanation. Earth's magnetic field serves as a protection against solar and cosmic radiation. It originates in the Earth's core. Whenever there is movement in its core, Earth's magnetic field shifts. When these movements occur suddenly, they are called geomagnetic jerks. According to a new study published in the journal Nature Geoscience, Earth's sudden magnetic shifts may be caused by floating blobs of molten matter originating from the depths of the Earth's core. The team of researchers developed a computer simulation that mimics movements on the Earth's outer core over several decades, effectively recreating the conditions that take place right before a geomagnetic jerk will happen. Results showed that these sudden jerks happen when the Earth's inner core emitted hydromagnetic waves. As these waves move outwards and reach the surface of Earth's core, they become amplified and create movements that can be compared to geomagnetic jerks. It turns out diamonds may not be that special. A new study from MIT suggests the interior of Earth is filled with a quadrillion tons of diamonds. Scientists estimate the diamonds are more than 100 miles below the surface, beneath the continental tectonic plates. The study estimates 1 to 2 percent of the cratonic roots may be filled with diamonds. A statement from MIT News says scientists came to this conclusion while they were trying to construct an image of what the Earth's interior might look like. Researchers created virtual rock models to test what material would allow sound waves to travel that quickly through the cratonic roots. The result was diamonds. Scientists came up with an estimate of around a quadrillion tons of diamonds by taking into account the total volume of cratonic roots scattered inside Earth. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.